What is up YouTube? This is Eli Beaverson Golf and I'm coming at you today with another golf ball review. So if you want to see my previous golf ball reviews, click the link up here in the corner. That way you will know how this video will be formatted and how the review will be done. So guys, let's open this up. So today I'll be reviewing two golf ball models from a brand new golf ball company called Ayers Golf. I'll be reviewing the Captain and the Hero. Guys, we'll talk a little bit more about these when we get to the golf course, but I'm really excited about this review. And I'm gonna put these through the paces and see how it goes. Let's get to the golf course. Okay guys, so I'm ready to test the Ayers Captain, which is a three-piece urethane golf ball and the Hero, which is a four-piece urethane golf ball. So I'll be testing these golf balls in six main categories. Each is worth up to five points. First will be feel on the putting green. I tend to prefer a softer feel, so we'll see how they play out there. And then I'll take it here in the short game area with some chipping and pitching, and I'll be testing that for feel and then for spin. And then out on the golf course, I'll be testing them just in overall performance. And then in the wind, we've got about eight to 10 mile per hour breezes today. And then also I'll look at durability after the round is over. So I will hop right into the test and I will catch you guys when I'm all finished. Okay guys, I'm back from the golf course. I've reviewed my notes and I'm ready to recap the Aris Captain and Hero golf balls. So we're gonna start off with the Captain. So first, in terms of putting feel, it gets a three and a half out of five. It didn't feel great, didn't feel terrible. It was a little firmer than I kind of expected it to be, given the fact it's a three-piece ball, but the further I got from the hole, oddly, it felt a little bit softer as I went. So that was very interesting to note. Then in the short game area, in terms of feel, it gets four out of five. It felt really nice, nice and soft. Felt like it kind of stuck on the club face nicely. And that made itself evident in the spin category where it received 4.5. There was especially one shot about a 45 yard pitch. It had tons and tons of spin on it. It was really spinning nicely around the practice green. And then I took it to the golf course in terms of performance. It gets a four out of five. It performed well. Um, something to note is that it had kind of a like a zing noise off the driver. It was a bit louder, a bit more of a spring than I expected. But that wasn't a turn off, it's just something to note. And also the iron shots didn't balloon. They just kind of took off steadily and climbed, but they didn't do one of these. And they also felt nice and soft off the irons as well. It did nicely in the wind. It gets 4.5 out of 5. And for durability, I'll show you a clip right now. It had kind of one scuff on it but other than that, it was perfect, so it gets a 3.5 out of five, bringing its total to a 24 out of 30. Now for the Hero. On the putting green, it felt a bit firmer. It gets a three out of five. In the short game area, it's a little bit firmer as well. It gets a 3.5. And for spin, I would say it just had slightly less than the Captain, so it comes in at four. On the golf course, it performed virtually identically to the Captain. I didn't notice much differences at all between them. So it also receives a four. Same thing in the wind, a 4.5. It did really nicely. And then durability, I'll show you a clip now. You can see there's some pretty major scuffing there from just a bit of golf. So I'm only gonna give it a two out of five for that. That's something 
that I'd be quite nervous about in playing this golf ball all the time is the durability was not very good. So that brings the hero into a total of 21 out of 30. So to finally recap, would I play the captain golf ball? Yes, I definitely could play it. But the hero, I wouldn't. It just felt too firm for my liking and the durability just wasn't really there. So guys, did you enjoy this review? If you did, let me know by smashing that thumbs up button and letting me know in the comment section below if you plan on trying some of these Ares golf balls. And guys, I will see you in the next video.